The free weight pullover is an exercise that's always been popular with people who are actually strong and jacked in the gym. They feature prominently in old school bodybuilding and strength routines for their beloved ability to target a large number of muscles in a way that builds mobility and size in a time efficient way. The pullover can be done with many implements, such as a single dumbbell, unilaterally with a dumbbell in either hand, barbells, kettlebells, and if you're really short on equipment, rocks. The last thing I personally wouldn't recommend, but it is in fact possible. Now, the overpowered part about pullovers is their incredible stimulus to fatigue ratio. Without using a lot of weight at all, you can get incredible stimulation in your lats and teres muscles, the chest, the long head of the triceps, and the serratus and ab muscles, making them an outstanding option for upper body days. Recently, I had a day where I was busy from the literal break of dawn till nearly midnight, but being the gym rat that I am, I decided not doing any kind of exercise on that day, and I otherwise would have, was unacceptable. And so I did a simple four exercise workout off the cuff before bed to finish my day. What I found was the pump and stimulation of the target muscles and the time efficiency that came from using pullovers allowed me to get a nearly full upper body stimulus with only those four exercises. For those that are interested in what the workout entailed, it was paused close grip bench press, superset with paused bodyweight pull-ups, and then the second two exercises were straight bar pullovers and dumbbell curls. That's it. Four exercises, 30 minutes, and a great upper body stimulus. If you're wondering how to program these, I'll give you what I've gathered in my time on YouTube and in personal experimentation. Pullovers work well with both straight sets and evolving rep ranges. I would say the target rep range should be anywhere from 8 reps to 20 reps. Personally, I've been doing pullovers in the 12 to 15 rep range recently, and they should generally go midway to early in the workout, anywhere from first, which I personally haven't tried, to fourth exercise in your list. I think that pullovers really shine in the third, fourth, or even fifth exercise in a given workout, as they don't require a ton of physical effort, but still require at least a bit of mental effort, as good technique is a must to reap the benefits of the exercise. And in terms of sets, I'd recommend three to five once or twice a week, or as high as three if you really love them. Though I advise you be careful with how many sets you do, as there is a potential for pullovers to leave your muscles sore for days. The variation I like to do is the straight bar cross bench pullover. Starting the exercise with slightly bent arms or even very bent arms will allow best mind muscle connection. Each rep should be controlled very slowly to the bottom of your preferred range of motion and then pulled back up. I prefer doing these with constant tension and a slight pause at the bottom. However, if you'd like, constant tension and pausing are completely optional. A tip I heard from John Meadows about the pullover is that if you go through each set, you'll likely gain short term flexibility. So taking your reps with a great deal of control will allow you to utilize the extra range of motion you gain access to as you continue your sets. In fact, over a longer period of time, the flexibility in your spine, lats, chest, and triceps can actually become permanent as well, making the exercise an excellent upper body mobility builder, which can help you become more comfortable with overhead movements and generally keep the shoulders and scapula happier and stronger. Naturally, picking the right weight is important. This is not a strength movement. Your goal is not to lift massive weights, and a young man who's new to pullovers but not new to lifting should probably start with anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds and slowly progress in weight, but always prioritizing technique, range of motion, and rep quality first. The final thing is what a lot of people talk about when it comes to pullovers, which is ribcage expansion. I believe it's true that pullovers can expand the cartilage of the ribcage, however to what degree and to what rate is largely unknown, and there's some conflicting information on how to best trigger this outcome as well. Some say that pairing pullovers and 20 rep squats is the best way to induce this, but I cannot speak for it myself. I myself am apathetic towards ribcage expansion, but from anecdotal reports I've heard, including pullovers in your routine for years at a time can lead to real changes in the size of your ribcage. All that explained, I think you might now see why pullovers need to be patched, as they're too meta with their incredible SFR and ability to develop almost the whole upper body, and their synergy with classic free weight movements such as bench press, pull-ups, and curls. If you're interested in gaining the benefits of a pullover, including it in your routine going forward could be a very smart move indeed. Leave a comment about your tips and experience with pullovers. Like and subscribe if you found the video entertaining or helpful, and as always, take care, train hard, and have a great day.